And let's meet the starters for the 12th. Number one, Ms. Fighting Major, owned by Shirley and Arthur Levin of Hoffman Estates, trained by Homer Hochstetler, Dave McGee in the bike. Two, Fox Valley Gale, owned by Fox Valley Standard Breads of Sherman, trained by Tony Alanya. Tony Morgan is up. Three, Nikki Blue, owned by John Leahy, Anderson Racing Incorporated, and Robert Ranquist Jr., trained by Joe Anderson. The driver is Ryan Anderson. Fox Valley Funny, number four, is owned by Paula and Amanda Smith of Valparaiso, Indiana, and by L.E. Carp Jr. of Hobart, Indiana, trained by Joel Smith. The driver is Dan Knox. Five is Stoli with a twist, owned by George Bonomo and Jim Mead of Chicago and Sandwich, trained by Jim Mead. The driver is Brent Holland. Apple of My Eye, number six, owned by Dean Derbyshire, Irvin Miller, and Michael Wilt of Illinois and Missouri, trained by Irvin Miller. The driver is Andy Miller. Number seven, Sporty Lucy, owned by Forrest Shoemaker and John Nessa of Altamont, trained by John Nessa, the driver Dale Heitman. And number eight, Crazy Cooter, owned by Dale Richardson and Richard and Kenneth Schrock of Illinois, trained by Rick Schrock. And Rick Schrock is the driver. Female, post of all time at 150 and three fifths. They are an eighth of a mile from the start. They're off and pacing. There goes Sporty Lucy out for the early lead. Fox Valley Gale gets away second. Miz Fighting Major is out third toward the inside. And Nikki Blue comes out racing fourth. Apple of My Eye is away fifth and now settles over toward the rail. Sporty Lucy makes the top by just a length, heading toward the quarter mile mark. Miz Fighting Major goes second by a length and a half. Fox Valley Gale third. Nikki Blue fourth. Apple of My Eye is fifth as their single file. And then comes Fox Valley Funny toward the inside. Opening quarter, 27 and 3. Stoley with a twist next to last. And now here comes Apple of My Eye as she begins moving from the number five position. Crazy Cooter is trailing the field up the backstretch, and Apple of My Eye is the filly on the move. Apple of My Eye from fifth to the lead. She takes over before the half by a length. Sporty Lucy picks up cover in second, and Ms. Fighting Major is third. Then Fox Valley Gale. Nikki Blue is next, the half in 56 and 2, followed by Fox Valley Funny, Stoley with a twist, and Crazy Cooter. At the entry to the far turn, Apple on my eye leads it by a length. Sporty Lucy, Ms. Fighting Major come next. Now Nikki Blue moves from the fifth spot, trying to get to the outside of Fox Valley Gale. Now she's also moving out to challenge for third. At the three quarters, Apple of My Eye leading Sporty Lucy, Fox Valley Gale outside of Ms. Fighting Major, and then Nikki Blue, who's five lengths off the lead. Three quarters, 124 and four. Apple of My Eye leads them by a length and a half off the turn. Sporty Lucy is second. Fox Valley Gale needs to find more. Ms. Fighting Major is trapped toward the inside. Stoley with a twist is in the center of the track. Sporty Lucy finds an opening to the inside of Apple of My Eye, and Sporty Lucy is gonna do it. Sporty Sporty Lucy springs the upset and wins it by a length. Apple of my eye looked to get second by a long nose over Ms. Fighting Major in third in 152 flat. Result of race 12 is official, 761 official. Back a couple of years ago, Forrest Shoemaker of Altamont bought Sporty Lucy when she was just a baby, a weanling. She was hip number one in a sale here at the Illinois State Fairgrounds. And what a purchase that has been. What a week for trainer John Nessa of Aldemont. The hits just keep on coming. Here's the latest Sporty Lucy, ladies and gentlemen, Dale Heitman, the winning driver. Owner Forrest Shoemaker is present once again with his wife, Virginia, and their son, Kenny. John Nessa of Aldemont, the co-owner and the trainer. Kenneth Spurlock bred the Sportsmaster filly who wins for the third time this year and knocks over two full seconds off her lifetime record. And I'll tell you something right now, Ed Teefee, this is a guy that he might as well just camp out in the winner's circle as much.